When you were younger, did your parents ever harp on you about things that you thought were silly at the time? My dad is a professor and researcher, and growing up, I felt like I could never get a break from him saying, you know, studies show, followed by research that didn't mean much to younger me. Hi, my name is Alex Watson, and I'm a presidential student ambassador at West Virginia University, and today I'm going to share some basic tips to help get you through your college years successfully. As you know, college is hard and can have a huge toll on your mental and physical well-being. Sleep. Sleep is something that my dad has been on my back about forever. As I'm sure most kids do, I distinctly remember getting in arguments with him when I was younger about bedtime. He would always warrant his side with research about the importance of sleep and the benefits that come with it. I don't think I ever fully understood the importance of sleep until I got to college and wasn't forced to get up at 5 a.m. every day. I started getting at least seven to eight hours of sleep each night in college and began to see and feel the dramatic change on my body. I noticed that I had more energy, I was more productive, was able to focus a hundred times better, and was overall just a happier person. I have a bedtime and make sure that I'm sleeping at least seven hours each night because I now understand the positive effects sleep has on my body. I recognize that sleep not only makes me a happier person, but also a better student. Along with sleep, one thing that I found that plays such an important role on my mental and physical well-being, as well as academic success, is exercise. Exercise is effective for the prevention and treatment of mental illnesses such as depression, anxiety, and other common mood disorders. It also has positive effects on learning, focus, and concentration, as well as physical health. Growing up, my dad started to practice spelling words with me while doing things like taking a walk or throwing a baseball. I learned that physical activity was essential to my learning at a young age, and I have carried that with me to college. I now don't go a day without some sort of exercise, and I still use it as a studying aid. Before big exams, you can always find me on a walk reviewing test information. College takes a lot of energy, and the least you can do is fuel your body. I cannot express enough the importance of feeding yourself to make sure that your body and brain can work to their full potential. I know it's often difficult to find the time to eat or cook yourself a meal, but I promise hungry you will thank yourself. I always have bars or pretzels in my backpack with me for times that I'm hungry and I can't sit and have a meal. I can recognize when I'm hungry in class because I begin to lose focus and struggle to get back on track. Creating a schedule is an effective way to stay efficient and on task. At the beginning of each week, I create a schedule to make sure that I'm completing all assignments, making time to exercise and study when I'm most productive, as well as giving myself time to not do school. I understand that I'm a student and school comes first, but I also understand that taking time to myself and having fun makes me a better student. For this reason, I try to have something to look forward to each week. College is stressful, and finding a groove is often difficult. Remember that your brain needs sleep to function, and your body needs sleep to recover. Exercise is not only beneficial for your physical health, but your mental health and academic success. You need energy to get through college, and food is fuel, so make sure you eat. I wish that younger me would have listened to my dad whenever he said, you know, studies show, because I can now recognize that his advice was only meant to help me achieve my greatest potential. With that being said, my advice to be a successful student is to create a schedule to make time for studying, adequate sleep, meals, exercising, and taking time for yourself.